Friends, welcome to the Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Transformation happens everywhere, even at UK mm -hmm. with Dr. Mm -hmm. Arisvarana mm -hmm. Shetty. Mm -hmm. He was a doctor at a whole damn hospital. But he became a magistrate for a day, every Thursday. Mm -hmm. Sir, how uh, was it happened? Uh, yeah. See, after getting my honor from mm. uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, II. Yes. So, What's the uh, name of that honor? Uh, that is uh, MBE, means okay. member of the British Empire. Okay. And uh, before, see, I will just, uh, as to my surprise, what happened mm. when I had a uh, function in Rupatunga in uh, Bangalore. Okay. And one of the ministers asked me, how many people from Karnataka got MBE from Queen mm. for service in the uh, medicine for the elderly, whatever, mm. in the doctor's profession. Mm. So I went back and I told the minister I will go back and write uh, to palace, mm. uh, they will let me know. So then they, they see everything we do there is promptly answered without mm. any excuse. Okay. Within one week I got the mess, uh, letter from uh, those days there were no computers because they had to enter in the ledger. Mm. So they said uh, this is, there is a different uh, office and uh, they will uh, uh, may help you. So I wrote to them and they promptly uh, replied within one week, hmm. one, week uh, no, one month. Okay. So I was surprised to know in service to medicine for the elderly uh, category, I was the first person to go to Buckingham Palace from my, with, my, with my wife and two children for the whole of India. So, oh, it is very good. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like another credit for me. Yeah. So, after, suma, after about uh, six months or one year, oh. I had a letter from the court saying that, uh, mm. Dr. Seti, can you come for an uh, interview uh, mm. for a magistrate post? I said, okay. it's um, something strange. I never, <laughs> never <laughs> expected uh, in okay. the court. Yeah. Uh, so, what I thought uh, was, uh, anyway, let me see. But I didn't want to lose my pay if I go on Thursday. Who is going to pay my wages? Mm. Mm. So I wrote to medical director and said, this is the situation. I had a letter straight away saying that because it's a government appointment, mm. we, it's a mandatory to release you on Thursdays. So because Thursday was an easy day for me anyway, because I used to do the letters, dictate the letters to the secretaries and all. Okay. So I took the appointment and went there. So, I don't want to go through too many de details, but oh. at least few yeah, issues. Yeah, few information. Yeah, Please yeah, share with us. Yeah, how, how they interview. Okay. There were three wives sitting there. Ah. <laughs> so, I am the Asian <laughs> sitting in the other side. Ah. And I thought I should get rid of my nerves. I said, see, as a senior doctor, I sit there and the juniors will sit here. Mm. You can imagine my pulse and blood pressure, how it is high. So, I relaxed myself. Okay. And the first question was, Dr. Sethi, ah. uh, have you been to court? I said, never, never in my life. <laughs> because why should I go to court for any, mm. this one? Then next, uh, next day question was, mm. do you take decisions in your life? Mm. I said, being a senior doctor, 24 hours a day, taking decision is my responsibility because I'm de dealing with life. <laughs> when a junior doctor asks me Correct. what to do, what not to do, yes. I must take this. So yeah. definitely that is, uh, I was uh, this, this uh, having that responsibility. Okay. Then next question they asked, um, so see there is a football match going on mm. and then uh, uh, police is controlling the mob on a horseback. Mm. And uh, some of the Asians, it is very important, some of the Asians pulled the police and kicked him. You are a magistrate, how do you deal with this? Mm. I said, see, whether he is a white, black or brown, uh, police is there to protect the law of this country. I will punish them severely. So that might have impressed them because, see, we cannot like, as a mm. doctor, I don't discriminate between color, cray, cray, uh, religion, whatever. Same thing, uh, I have to make sure the police is protected, isn't mm. it? Mm. So like that, uh, they developed a um, question and answer for about one hour at least. Okay. And they, they said, the Dr. City, thank for coming mm. and uh, we are pleased uh, for your time, everything. And we have to make this uh, report on you to the Duchy of Lancaster, who is the employing authority for the legal system. Okay. And if he is happy with the report you have, and uh, we have sent, and uh, you have to come for an interview again. So, 
then I said, okay, well, at least I have been into the court and to the chambers and all. So I was with, uh, really uh, comfortable. I went back to my work. Promptly after one month, they said, uh, mm. can you come for a second interview? Oh. And second interview, they said, uh, can you please come uh, half an hour early? I said, okay. So I went to reception and mm. they took me there. As soon as I went there, they gave me four short cases. Okay. See, it said, see, Crown prosecution uh, present this case to you. Then, defense uh, 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 presents their uh, side of it. So, you are a magistrate sitting and how do you take the decision? See, there were uh, four small cases and uh, sensibly, I think, mm. when I answered, it was, it was so meaningful and they were very impressed. So, again, another one and a half hour uh, interview went on. And then uh, they said, uh, they, before I left, uh, they said one thing, mm, that city, we will be delighted to, uh, delighted to have on our bench. I said, oh gosh, at least I have impressed you, whether I sit or not makes no, no, this. So, after, uh, after a week or so, mm, they, uh, they said, uh, you have been appointed as a magistrate mm. to hold them course on a Thursday. Mm. Mm. Out of uh, seven courts, we had to be, uh, we, we, three people had to sit on the bench, not like one, one person sitting and taking a decision, nothing like that. Always majority verdict is very, very important where I, we don't go wrong. See, one beauty what I saw was how the society outside lives. With, see, I sat from theft to murder and rape cases and all. Out of 100 cases, we used to take, they take decisions up to 94 cases. Mm. And the, the, because our power, uh, power was limited, so the rest we thought, if it is, they need bigger punishment, we used to send it to the Crown Court in Manchester. Okay, okay. So, the, this, uh, re, what, with working as a magistrate there, they will train us anyway, because we are not going to sit straight away. See, for instance, if yeah. if the defense or uh, crown says, my worships according to section 32, I don't have a slightest clue what is like section 32 because I haven't done the law. Mm. So the clerk who is sitting there with qualified clerk will be sitting with us. and. Uh, uh, they will open the book and uh, read uh, the section 32 for us and then we, can, we know what we are dealing with. See, system, I felt if a person uh, does wrong and come to the court, punishment is 100%. There is no question of, uh, see, for instance, in our hospital there were uh, 2,500 uh, 2, people working. Mm. And if I knew anybody, I have to declare to okay. my colleagues that I am going okay, to okay. other court and they they, uh -huh. they they will replace my place. Okay, okay. So out of 21, I uh, I was the only brown, uh, okay, brown okay. fellow. Sir, uh, sir out uh, of curiosity, uh, I want to ask this question. Uh, uh, what was the duration of a case? It, usually, they bring the cases very quickly, early, huh. and uh, I can never ever see mm. one week, two weeks postponement is I know. Mm. Very rarely we used to give four weeks when the um, uh, uh, crown or police uh, requested us to uh, they want some more time. Okay. So definitely huh. within one month or two months, the, the case has to be clear. If we kept any cases pending, we used to get a letter from London saying that why are you keeping cases pending. So the system works fantastic. So I, I, I think uh, this is a system we aspire in India. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a nice system mm -hmm. to get these mm -hmm. cases cleared. Mm -hmm. But here, a uh, few cases, I think, especially mm -hmm. in civil cases, mm -hmm. they take. Uh, 25 to 30 years it seems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, I, they, I worked mainly in uh, uh, uh. criminal uh, okay. this okay. side. Okay. Civil cases, uh, as I know, mm. I don't think they will go more than uh, three months or uh, six months. So, or maximum for, is between three yeah. to six months. See, for instance, if somebody didn't pay mm. uh, rent for mm. three months, legally we can uh, get the property back uh, because uh, we can apply to the court, he, has, he failed, he or she failed paying mm. rent for 
three months mm. and then uh, court will give order uh, vacate it otherwise our bailiffs will come and throw your um, property out <laughs> so that is the system see yes. we, they follow the rules regulation that's very important whatever is written black and white mm. they will follow that one yeah okay okay it's okay. a very good system good. it was a nice nice experience of you mm. uh, friends if you want to know more about dr r, r. s urnana shetty please watch one more video in this channel as well as at jayaprakash nagathehalli youtube channel you will get at least four to five videos and if you want to know more about through print media please do read sadhakara chandana a book in kannada published by sapna book house or through sapnaonline.com dr shetty thank you very much for Sir, your uh, input namaste namaste <laughs>